Hello my dear students, welcome to Learners World. In this video, I talk about Postmodernism Part 1. Postmodernism is a philosophy of the late 20th century applicable to important disciplines like literature, art, ar architecture, cinema, fashion and so on, characterized by broad skepticism, subjectivism and a general suspicion of reason. Now, what is postmodernism? This is postmodernism. We have a particular definition of the 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 definition of Literature is a particular definition. Postmodernism is a philosophy of the late 20th century. We have to say that postmodernism is a philosophy of the late 20th century. Applicable to important disciplines like literature, art, architecture, cinema, fashion, and so on. That is important disciplines like literature, art, architecture, cinema, and so Applicable to our philosophy of postmodernism. Characterized by broad skepticism, subjectivism, and a general suspicion of reason. And the characteristic of postmodernism is broad skepticism. That is the name of the subjectivism. That is the name of the objectivism. That is the subjectivism. That is the subjectivism. Postmodernism is the general suspicion of reason. That's why reason is suspicion. That's why it's a suspicion. This is the The term postmodernism was first used by the French philosopher Jean Francois Lyotard. In his book, The Postmodern Condition, published in 1979. This term, postmodernism term, is the French philosopher Jean Francois Lyotard, in the book, book The Postmodern Condition, 1979. This term is the term use the term postmodern if we have a postmodern parenting cartoon picture, we have a parent who is a nails. We have a parent who is a that's why we have to do this. That's why we have to do Okay, this postmodernism. Features of postmodernism. What postmodernism features of Distrust of reason. What is the postmodernism? Distrust of reason. Yukthililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililililil
Then what is critic of enlightenment? And the critic of enlightenment. Enlightenment is a European intellectual movement of the late 17th and 18th centuries, centuries emphasizing reason and individualism rather than tradition. Enlightenment in the 17th and 18th century. European and the intellectual movement is enlightenment in the world. Emphasizing reason and individualism rather than tradition. Now, tradition is important for the importance of reason. Reason is important for the importance of individualism. It is important for the importance of It was heavily influenced by 17th century philosophers such as Descartes, Locke, Newton and its prominent figures included Kahn, Gade, Voltaire, Rousseau and Adam Smith. In the 17th century, philosophers like Descartes, Locke, Newton, and uh, philosophers. That's why we Kahn, Gade, Voltaire, Rousseau, and Adam Smith. That's why we have to say that this enlightenment is very important. It is related to historical events like the French Revolution of 1789. In 1789, the French Revolution It rejected the authority of the church, nobility and the crown. Then, this enlightenment is church and nobility. The church is rejected. Enlightenment philosophers believed in the great potential of People. Enlightenment philosophers great potential of people. That is the Manishinde Karvilane Avery Vishosicha. Reason, scientific temperament, secularism, and tolerance were some of the ideals of enlightenment. Apo reason, Yuktium, Adapole scientific chindagadium, secularism, Adapole uh, tolerance, Sahishnu deum, I know enlightenment in the Pradhanam, Shangal ideals in the Parainade. Next, the Enlightenment philosophers thought that the underlying factors of human nature are constant and universal. Now, Enlightenment philosophers are thinking that the Manishi Prakriti and Yendrik Nadi Sana Gadagangal are constant. Matam Ilatadum, Adapolendane, Adapolendane, Sarvalogi Gaumana, you do Enlightenment philosophers, Chindicha, Nana Parenade. They believed that humankind is always on the path of progress. Our believe in the Manishikulam Epodum progress in the Padailana. That is the in the Enlightenment Vishosikan in the Nana. Humankind in the Parana, Manishikulam in the Parana, progress in the Padailana in the Enlightenment Vishosikan in the Nana Parana. Science and reason proved that. Necessary guidelines. About science and reason. That is the Shastra, Mukti, Mane, Manishere, Puroga, the Lake, Progress Lake, Naikanade, and Enlightenment is in the Kanade, and another. Postmodernism rejects the notion of objective sum reality, objective reality in any sphere of life. But postmodernism, a podium subjective is a turn and they say another. Subjective is a turn and focus in another. Now, postmodernism is not the objective reality of the object. The notion of objective reality is postmodernism. Postmodernists have a deep distrust of science. That is why postmodernists are not the objective reality. That's why we have to do Deep distrust of science. They reject its capacity for human progress. That's why we have to do the progress in the enlightenment. That's why we have to reject the human progress in the capacity of postmodernism. They also question the idea of progress. They the Puriogadi in the Ashet and Navid in the Chino Chodin Chino. They the Enlightenment you show Sikana then than a human and Manishin in the Parana, the Puriogadi, the 
പാതയിലാണ് എന്നാണ് അതായത് മനുഷ്യൻ എപ്പോഴും ഹ്യൂമൻ കൈൻഡ് ഈസ് ഓൾവേസ് ഓൺ ദ പാത്ത് ഓഫ് പ്രോഗ്രസ് എന്നാണ് എല്ലാറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് വിശ്വസിക്കുന്നത് പക്ഷേ പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസം ആ ഒരു മനുഷ്യൻ്റെ പുരോഗതിയെ കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ചെയ്യാണ് ആര് ചെയ്യുന്നത് പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസം ചെയ്യുന്നത് എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസം ഗിറ്റിക്സ് ദ പോസ്റ്റ് പ്രോ പിഡോ പ്രിഡോമിനൻസ് ഗിവൺ ടു റീസൺ ബൈ എല്ലാറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഫിലോസഫേഴ്സ് ഇത് പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസം യുക്തിക്ക് എല്ലാറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ത അതായത് ഫിലോസഫേഴ്സ് കൊടുത്ത പ്രാധാന്യത്തെ അംഗീകരിക്കുന്നില്ല അതായത് റീസണ് എല്ലാറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് ഫിലോസഫേഴ്സ് നൽകിയിട്ടുള്ള പ്രാധാന്യത്തെ പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസം അംഗീകരിക്കുന്നില്ല എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് Drawing from the ideas of Saussure, postmodernists see language as something that goes on shifting meanings. That is Saussure in the Aashengal in the Innum. Prajodhanengal ulkkondu postmodernists parayinnadu. Meaning maharikkondu irikkunna onnana baasha. That is the language in the Innum. Postmodernists parayinnadu. That is the language in the Innum. That is the language in the Innum. Saussure in the Innum. ആശയങ്ങളിൽ നിന്നും പ്രചോദനമൊക്കെ ഉൾക്കൊണ്ട് പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസ് പറയുന്നത് മീനിങ് മാറിക്കൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്ന ഒന്നാണ് ലാംഗ്വേജ് എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസം ടോട്ടലി റിജക്ട് ദ വെസ്റ്റേൺ വാല്യൂസ് ഇൻഹെറിറ്റഡ് ഫ്രം ദ എൻലൈറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് അപ്പോൾ എൻലൈറ്റ്മെൻറ്റിൽ നിന്നും അവർക്ക് കിട്ടിയിട്ടില്ല അതായത് പൈതൃകമായിട്ട് ലഭിച്ച എല്ലാ വെസ്റ്റേൺ വാല്യൂസും പോസ്റ്റ് മോഡേണിസം അപ്പാടെ റിജക്റ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നുണ്ട് അപ്പാടെ തള്ളിക്കളയുന്നുണ്ട് എന്നാണ് പറയുന്നത് 